Today's lesson is focusing on reading process for third grade comprehension, answering literal, inferential, and evaluative questions to demonstrate comprehension of grade appropriate print, text, and electronic and visual media. So here I have a few definitions, just a few. First one is literal. Literal is something you can find directly in the text. It says it right there. Inferential is using the clues in and around the text, and it's also using what you already know in your head to figure it out. And evaluative is making a judgment or forming an opinion about what you read. And here's a quick knowledge check to see if you can match the correct word to the correct definition. So the first one here is making a judgment or opinion about the text. So I think that one is evaluative. So I'm going to click on this word and drag it over to this spot. Second one is use text clues and prior knowledge. This one is inferential because I'm using around the text and I'm also using what I already know in my head. And last one is found directly in text. So it's a found directly in the text. It's, it's literal. So we're going to click and drag this last one over. And we'll check and see if we're right. And we got all checks, so we got all three of them right. And here's a quick story for us, and we have a few questions afterwards. Hannah walked home from school on a cool Tuesday afternoon. As she walked, Hannah noticed all the pretty colors of the leaves, red, yellow, orange. Some of the leaves were still on the tree, but some were on the ground. Many times, Hannah would spend too much time looking at nature that she forgot to look both ways before crossing the street. This was one of those days. And our first question is, where was Hannah walking? How do we know where Hannah was walking? It says it right here in the text. So it says, Hannah walked home from school. So we know she was walking home from school because it says it directly in the text. So that would be a literal question. Next one says, what season was it? How do we know what season it was? Does it say it directly in the text? No, it doesn't say it right in there. We know what the season is. We know that the season is fall because it says the pretty colors of the leaves. There's colors like red, yellow, and orange. And those type of colors of leaves are only found in the fall. Also, another thing that we can tell that it was fall is because that some of the leaves were on the ground Leaves tend to fall to the ground in the fall. Next question is, what did Hannah do wrong? Well, we should all know as third graders that we need to look both ways before crossing the street. So Hannah did not do that. So that is what Hannah did wrong. That's what we should think that Hannah did wrong because she didn't look, look, look both ways before crossing the street. And here's another little knowledge check to check your um, definition for the vocabulary words that we learned that we've been going over. And what we're going to do once I click start, the definition is going to be right here and there's going to be a bunch of letters in this boxes. And you're going to have to click on the letters and spell the word out in the amount of time before this bar reaches all the way up to 100. So I'm going to click start, and we're going to see our first definition. Answer by using clues in the text and other information. So was it literal, inferential, or evaluative? I think this one was inferential, because we're using clues in the text and other information like stuff we already know in our head. So let's see. Here it is in... Inferential. When we did it just in time, we got a score of 142. And next we're going to be doing an activity with a book called Polar Bears by Gail Gibbons. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the book to write two literal questions, one inferential question, and one invaluable question. So we're going to work in groups with your groups at your tables. And I want you to come up with two literal questions. And literal questions, again, are um, answers that can be found directly in the text. 
and then one inferential, which is, again, um, question, uh, answers that can be found using context clues in the text and also using stuff you already know in your head. And then finally, one evaluative question, and that one is forming a judgment, forming an opinion about what you read in the book. So let's get started on Polar Bears by Gail Gibbons, and here we go.